Hey everyone, Fran with IGN here at CES 2017, standing here in front of Sony's OLED television. Finally, the time has come that we can talk about it. Sony, uh, as you may or may not know, has not really been in the OLED game when it comes to these consumer televisions, and they still won't be in the game until the latter half of this year. This is still an early look. We won't know more about it uh, until later. We don't know price point, but we talked to a Sony rep who was talking about this is actually gonna be considered, it's around their flagship model, but it's a little different than their Z9D. So this might come in, I'm gonna guess, at some, something like a $5,000 price point for a 65 inch, but I'm just pulling that out of the wind, so we're not sure. So, what is the story on this? Well, for starters, you're gonna say, hey, OLEDs have been around for a while. LG is very well known, makes a ton of OLED televisions. Well, Sony now getting into the game, there is one big difference. Sony has its X1 processor, uh, which they have installed in their higher end televisions, which does a ton of stuff, improves picture quality, reduces noise, handles HDR. It's basically upscaling any source to 4K HDR. And so that's one of the big differences that we're seeing here at the show. Conditions at the show, of course, are never a great place to you know, be sure of exactly how it's gonna look, but I can say it looks awesome. I wish I got to see some gameplay footage and some real movie footage, but again, it's a little early to say that. Also important to note is there are no speakers on this. Well, that's because the TV itself is a speaker. It's using what Sony is calling acoustic surface technology, which basically means the TV's vibrating, creating sound. It's pretty interesting. We can hear it a little bit here on the show floor, but the conditions aren't quite right for that. Also, on the back side of the TV is a stand. Now, of course, that's where they put the guts, the ins and outs, the HDMI, etc. but actually they've included a subwoofer in there. So I think that's pretty smart. You know, you don't have to have a sound bar attached to this thing if you wanna just get up and running. Of course, most people who are gonna have an OLED like this probably have a pretty sweet sound setup. So that's a quick look at Sony's XBR A1E OLED television here at CES. Again, you know, we want to know more about the television, which isn't even out till later this year. I want to know what the input lag is, et cetera. So be sure to stay tuned to IGN, and I'll catch you guys soon.